Hi there everyone, Jim with Your Home. Another quick tutorial video for you on setting up the Z-Probe with our machines. We've had a lot of questions come in about that. We have some people that have had some confusion, so we want to help clarify this for you. So I'm going to go over the two different types of Z-Probes we have and how to set them up in Easel. I will not be addressing other software at this time, but I will cover both types of Z-Probes we have. switch over. So have here our Cross River. If you have the Cross River and just our default Z probe, you're going to have an assembly that looks a lot like this. You've got the Z touch plate and you have a clip that would attach to your collet or your bit. That would be set down here like this. Clip it to your bit and that's how you would adjust your Z probe. It would drop down, touch the plate, and move on. What we're finding is a lot of times people are setting up their Z-Probe, starting their project, and the machine sits there and carves air for the first five millimeters or so. And that's because of the setting for the thickness of this touch plate. So that's what we're going to be discussing. You may also have ordered our PCB Z-Probe which is going to be this item right here. Very thin plate with a magnet that holds it to the collet or bit. So you're able to set it there like this. Don't take up as much of your Z height. But the first thing we need to do is determine what the proper thickness of this Z plate is. Now, if you ordered the PCB probe, it will have come with a piece of paper like this that lists the measurement of your plate. So you can use that, although I always like to confirm it just to be on the safe side. So to do that, I'm gonna be using a digital caliper and it might be kind of hard to see the, the screen there, but I'll try and keep it as visible as I can for you on camera. So with this, I've got it set to metric because I tend to think everything in millimeters. So what we wanna do is measure the thickness of this plate. So in this case, I'm gonna come down here and I've actually got, see if you can catch that, 20.03 millimeters. So we wanna write that down somewhere. If we were using the PCB probe, we're gonna do the same thing, measuring the thickness of this PCB. But now, I'm down at 1.39 millimeters. So that's actually different than what was listed on my piece of paper. That's why we always want to double check. So I'm going to go through the steps on this in easel so that we can see where to set that value. So let me switch over to easel real quick. So you can see here, I am connected. I have my green carve button. When I go to my machine menu, I am selected to connect with my cross river. I want to go to the edit your machine option. And right down here towards the bottom under the accessories, we see a gray button for configure Z probe. So when we tell it we want to configure the Z probe, it's going to come up and it's going to say plug the leads into the carriage. That particular comment is explicitly for the X carve, so we can skip that. That's why it's defaulted to probe is connected. We want to tell it attach clip to call it. That's meaning we've either clipped that alligator clip onto the bit or our magnet is attached to it. We can confirm that. And then we just need to make contact with the call it and the touch plate. So we touch our probe to it. Now, so you can see what I just was doing there, when it tells you to touch the plate, I have the magnet attached to the collet, and I simply came up and made contact on the end of the bit. That tells it that it is confirming the circuit is complete and you can move forward. So once we are back in easel, 
By default, you may be on inches up here, it may be on millimeters. Again, I'm working in millimeters, so that's what I'm choosing to work with. This value right here, the touch plate thickness, is the critical measurement that comes into play. By default, easel enters a value of 14.99 millimeters. If you're using our default standard Z probe that came with your machine, we noticed that it was 20.03. That's a difference of just over five millimeters. So if you probe your Z and it touches that plate, it retracts, it gets ready to start your project, easel is going to tell it to drop down 15 millimeters and start carving. Well, if you did that with a 20 millimeter thick block, obviously we're going to have a problem because it's going to only drop 15 millimeters. And that's where we have that carving error situation. Since I have my Z probe connected, I'm going to go and change this to my PCB value, which was 1.39 millimeters. And I'm going to hit save right here. Now I also need to hit save again on this screen. So now we have set our Z probe thickness. We should be ready to start carving our project. I don't have anything loaded at the moment, but let's go ahead and put something on there just so we can see how it's working. I'm just going to put a simple shape. I'm not going to go through all the settings on everything, but let's just tell it carve. I'm going to tell it that I have my appropriate material thickness. I do have it clamped down. I'm going to lie to it and just tell it that's the bit. We want to select our probing method. So I'm going to jog the machine over the material. You can see in the video, and I'm going to switch to this in just a moment, where it was over the material, so I'll confirm that. I do have my clip attached. I'm going to reach up and touch the bit and the plate. Touch plate is in place. And now when I tell it to start probing, it's going to drop down. I'm going to switch to the camera so we can see that. So when I tell it start probing, I want to make sure that I am right there underneath my bit. It's going to drop down until it makes contact and then jump right back up. So that set our probe height. Let me switch back over to easel real quick. We are now complete. We make sure we pull our probe out of the way, keep it in a safe place. Z probe is put away. We set our X, Y, zero, and we're ready to carve. That's all there is to it. Very quick and easy. Get those settings in there properly. If you have any questions or if you are not sure on the measurement of your Z probe plate, please send us an email at support at yourhome.com and a tech will be more than happy to help you with that measurement and get your machine set up for you properly. Thanks and have a great day. Jungle.